Yo, what is going on my YouTube people 29 United back here with another video and in today's video We're gonna be going through the group A and group B for the FIFA World Cup in Qatar later this year Now how this little series is gonna work is I'm gonna go through pairs of groups in the World Cup and talk about them um, mostly individually uh, going through a little preview here and a little prediction, but as you guys know, I did a video uh, with another friend of mine, Next Gen Football. Uh, so I'll put that link of that video in the description as well. So you guys can go check that out. This series is going to consist of me talking more uh, in detail about these uh, groups and countries, about their players and what I think is, you know, essentially going to happen. Let's start with Group A here, Qatar, Ecuador, Senegal, and the Netherlands. A lot of people think Netherlands are going to absolutely smash this group. No hesitation. I think it's going to be quite the contrary. I'm not saying they're going to struggle, but I do think it's not going to be as easy for them to beat every single team. I actually predicted that Senegal go first, Netherlands go second, Ecuador third, and Qatar fourth. I still stand by that. People are going to underestimate Senegal quite a bit. Senegal coming after a huge AFCON win and obviously their qualification against Egypt as well. I can't credit them enough for what they've done. As for the Netherlands, I think they're still going to do what they have to do. Ecuador, so I think they're going to be third in Qatar. As much as I want them to do well to represent Asia, even though they're the hosts, I just don't see them do well. Although in 2018, a lot of people did say Russia wouldn't make it, and they still did. You never know what the hosts in the FIFA World Cup. Now for Qatar, the player to watch, in my opinion, would be Almoz Ali, the striker. Um, very good striker in Asia. If you watch Asian football, you definitely know who he is. For Ecuador, I don't really have a name in particular. For me, I've seen a few games of the Ecuadorian national team, and just as a team, they look tough, man. So the whole team is the player to watch. For Senegal, I think it's quite self-explanatory. Sadio Mane uh, and the goalkeeper Edouard Mendy, those two, I think, are going to have a good tournament. And for the Netherlands, an unpopular opinion here, and a lot of people are going to expect me to say, you know, Memphis Depay and all that. I think it's going to be a tournament for Steven Bergwijn. So that's for Group A. We're going to move on to Group B. So in Group B, my prediction in the last video was England first, Iran second, and then a European playoff spot to be third, and then the US to be fourth. Now, I still stand by that no matter who gets into the Euro playoff. But if Wales get in, which in my opinion, I think is the hardest opponent out of Scotland and Ukraine. Scotland, I think, is going to be the weakest and Ukraine just above Scotland. I, I don't see Ukraine making it due to everything that's going on, unfortunately. I think they're going to forfeit. But in the case that they do make it, I think the whole world is going to back them if they do qualify for the World Cup. Iran is going to be the one that's going to cause the most problems, I feel like. And I'm not saying that because I'm Iranian, but because of what we've seen in the past few World Cups. Now, player to watch for England, I think it's going to be Harry Kane still. He had a fantastic World Cup back in 2018. I still think he's going to have a good World Cup in 2022. Hopefully not against Iran. For Iran, a player to watch just has to be Mehdi Taremi. I think he's been fantastic for international and club. And we've missed him a lot during the qualifiers. And just a funny stat for you, Mehdi Taremi was actually the top scorer of the Asian qualifiers despite missing four games. Despite missing four games, that is huge. And despite that, he was still first. Uh, now, for Wales, the player to watch, Gareth Bale. For Scotland, I think it's going to be the defense. The defenders are going to be the players to watch. And for Ukraine, I haven't watched Ukraine play much. Um, but I always had a little admiration for a player called Viktor Tsigankov. I hope I pronounced that well. Um, and if in case that Ukraine do well, in the qualifiers to get to the World Cup. I think he's going to be the player to watch. But uh, it's going to be one hell of an exciting World Cup. So that was for Group A and Group B, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any feedback uh, about this, if you guys have anything to say, make sure to drop it in the comments section down below. Guys, follow me on Twitter, on Instagram, on TikTok. All those links will be down in the description. And like I said, if you guys are new, smash that sub, click on that like button, and I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs>